this tank has been in service for some time, but it's driving on experimental tracks. The requirement for these tracks is to survive being driven hard over one of the toughest courses in the world. This time, they didn't make it. What happened, Jody? Uh, I don't know yet, hang on. Uh, there's a horn bent. Uh, best look up for um, Samson, then? Yeah. Take this bit back to the lab. Right. And so, once it's been rescued, back to the lab it'll go. But does such a failure represent disaster? Good Lord, no. No, the, the track link on that tank was a prototype a track link. And obviously this doesn't go on to the normal tanks until it's gone through a whole series of tests uh, to ensure that it is satisfactory for that particular type of tank. The track link uh, is subjected to a whole series of tests to find out whether, in fact, it is uh, the fault of the manufacturer or whether it is um, the fault of the material or whether it's a, it's a design fault. Although most quality assurance work is done on a visiting basis, some defence contractors are big enough to justify having a QAD representative permanently on site. When that happens, a different relationship develops. Well, Ken, I've asked you along here to see this is about the 100th vehicle we have... Uh, now tested in this tank, and uh, to save a lot of time and manpower, I was going to ask if you would consider a relaxation in the specification to allow us to, to float only about one in five vehicles. How many vehicles did you say? A hundred? Well over a hundred by now. It must be by now, must it? Yes. Actually, when I get the request, I will almost certainly grant the relaxation because the production over the last 12 months has been consistently within the specification requirements. The only rider that I would add is that we will have a 1 in 10 full specification check to ensure that the quality is maintained.